Ja, ja mich nicht. Ja, haben sie hier bei Haus. Ja, ich habe eine Gehirnung. Ich habe sie hier gefunden. Schau, ich nehme es mir für das Zitat, du hast schon mehr um mich. Um, make sure you come on, say hi, let me know if you're out there, live or replay, where you're from. I like to see all of that and all those comments really help us spread the word that we're out there. So you want to see what I am getting that I got from Dollar General that we are doing? I think I was almost over pumpkins, but I saw this and I saw pumpkin written all over it. So we're going to do another pumpkin. I have done so many pumpkins this year. Um, I thought I was over it, and I'm sure a lot of you are over it, but it's going to be cute, I think. I think. I only got I only got enough to make one, so I had to do it on here. So I'm hoping it will be, yeah, isn't he cute? He's cute. Oh, I'm glad I'm not weird. I mean, other people, I just have to giggle at them. I mean, you have to find things to laugh at, right? You really do. All right. They had, I literally checked out. Literally, I checked everything out. And then I was walking out of the store and they had these right in the front that I missed when I walked in and they only had two of them. These called me as a pumpkin. All right, they were $3 a piece at Dollar General. We're gonna put them together, but we're gonna, we're gonna do a little fill. We're gonna um, do a little decorating on it. I'm gonna show you using, now I've done jute stems before, but I'm gonna do this one a little bit different and we're gonna use some coffee grunge with it. Um, I just think it's gonna be cute and, and fun. We're gonna get sort of messy with that coffee grunge. So that's what we're doing. We're gonna go ahead and get started right away. You like Alfred? Alfred is an awesome name for him. I like that too, Phyllis. I do like that. All right, let me just, I've got stuff all over here because when you don't plan, this is what happens. You get stuff everywhere. But I had an idea of what I wanted to do. I got my gloves out because we're gonna get a little bit messy when we make the stem, you know? Yeah, let's do, let's do this first and then we'll do the stem. So scrap fabric. I love scrap fabric. This is, look at it, it's scrap, but there's enough for it. Now, I think I'm trying to think of how the easiest way is. I want to push this down in because we're going to stuff this. I have to be able to lift this over the top then. And we're going to do that. All right. Use whatever fabric you have. You could paint these, either spray paint or something. So I want this, I want this in here. So I think, um, you know what? We're gonna do this on both of them. So let's, I'm just trying to figure out the best way to do it. Lay that in there, make sure you have enough um, to put the stuffing. So we'll just cut this off. This scissor is awful. <laughs> It's awful. Yeah, you gotta love scrap fabric fa crafting because you always have scrap fabric. I love this fabric though. I, I love it. Whoops. More scrap over here. Wow, this is dull. I have a fabric scissor that I've got over there for costumes. Um, so we'll, <laughs> we're making do with this. All right, let's see if this piece fits in here. Nope, that's a little short. Throw that down there. Use that for another day. All right. Put this one in there, that'll be good. I know, Luann, and at some point you turn it like, and you know what, We're, we have to trim this fabric off, and I'm like, oh, Gosh, this one is terrible, terrible, terrible. So I actually went and grabbed my little, this one from the Dollar Tree is amazing. <laughs> I love it for a buck. It's in the craft department. I I have several of them because it just, it's the sharpest thing ever. And look at, look at, you just do a little clip. Look at, it clips fabric. Biggest tip of the day, Dollar Tree in the craft department, these little scissors, they're amazing. You wouldn't always think that, but they are. All right, so we've got this. I've got fiber fill. I got tons of fiber fill. I got bags for my mom's. Just open up another bag. I have some really good stuff that I like using in other things. 
we're just going to fill each one of these. I want to fill, I want to make sure it tucks down in the center. Now I, you know, a lot of times when I do things that I stuff, I spread this apart, but being in here, it's not going to matter. It, you just want to stuff it full. Yeah, Don, aren't they the best scissors? They really, really are the best scissors. I said, that's what I'm going to do for trimming this fabric. Because you got to trim, you got to trim it. All right, we're just going to really, I we're going to stuff it down in there good. Because you want to make sure you get it into the corners. I'm just trying to figure out the best way to do this, you know. I almost feel like I have to glue this fabric to, um, we're, we're making like stuffed pumpkins almost. I almost feel like we have to glue this fabric to the basket, but I don't know that I necessarily want to do that. We'll figure it out as we go. Thank you, Kathy. It's so nice and warm and fuzzy. It's a little chilly today, but it's supposed to get nice as 60s again, I think, or low 60s maybe, by the end of the week, high in the 40s. <laughs> We're ready. We're ready. All right, so I think we got that. I really feel like, yeah, I have to glue the fabric down, but do you get what this is going for? I have to glue the fabric onto the sides. So we're going to lift that up and do that. I, um, is my glue gun on? Yep. All right, so we're just going to do that along the sides, and then we're going to glue the fabric together. I almost thought that You know what? No, we're going to, going to tuck this in and glue it in there. Just gonna scrape that because we're gonna then we're gonna going to glue. Yeah, I think we'll I think we'll be good with that. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Um, fiber fill, honestly. We're just going to do little tucks. Then we don't even have to trim the fabric. Just tuck it in. I'm making this up as I'm going. As you can tell, I'm making it up as I'm going. Good morning, Kathy. Your first frost, Lori. We had a really heavy frost last week. It was actually pretty. I mean, the ground was white, white, white. Um, it was a little bit pretty, but I'm not ready. I'm not ready. All right. So again, make sure you get that down in your corners. Really spread that out down in there. Um, Stick on to the end. I always do random at the kindness drawings. We might even do one in between somewhere. So you better keep on commenting because I'm just going to all sudden scroll. We'll get some. Last week I sent out some of my wood kits. Just a, a couple of them. I don't do them all the time, but who knows? Who knows? Those are bigger random act. I don't always do that. I'm actually cutting out some more of the big sitting snowmen. They're in the process of cutting right today because they're out of my Etsy shop. Good morning, Susan. It's a little chilly here this morning, but it happens when our international balloon. Gloria, I saw pictures of it. I think I actually, if I'm not mistaken, I think it was Brooke from Refab that was up in one is where I saw the pictures. All right, so I think that's good. And then when I put this on, we're going to just tuck that in even farther. So we're really going to tuck that in. But I think 
I think that's going to work because then we can glue this together. Otherwise, you'd have to glue the fabric on and then you have to glue the fabric together. And I don't think I like the idea of that. Oh, I'll betcha Pennsylvania would be beautiful right now. Um, up north, northern Wisconsin is almost near peak now. But I can tell you around here, I mean, we're not near peak. We have a lot of green yet, so probably within a couple of weeks we will be. But some of the trees always turn colors first. We have some of the most beautiful colors this year, and you don't get that every year. And I don't remember if it's something to do with rain or cold or warm. I don't remember. But we have beautiful colors this year. Again, I'm just tucking this in because it'll be easier gluing the edges together then. But make sure it's all in there. Lost some of our stuff. Lost our stuffing. in here I saw oops my boss has been texting me while well, after I came on asking me a question and I know she's with someone and we needed that answer but I'll tell her as why she figured it out she just texted me she figured it out I was gonna email her or message her after but I don't know. A lot of decorated houses. Yeah, I just I don't go out and do that. I used to all the time. And I don't as much. Cash stop. Cash stop. Stop. Since he got a haircut, he licks a lot. He, he licks a lot. So he's not used to his hair being cut now. I don't want him to get raw spots. Yeah, Carla, and it, it, it looks good with this, right? Like I said, I'm over doing pumpkins, sort of. But when I saw this, it just reminded me of pumpkin. I thought, okay, one more pumpkin on here. And then I've got, I've, I've got some cute ideas for Christmas, too. I don't know that I'm ready for that. Don't know. Thank you, Susan. All right, let's do that random act of kindness drawing. Here we go. Uh, Dawn Carroll, private message me your mailing address. I'll get you some happy mail. Please do a random act of kindness for someone. That's the deal that I make. Random act of kindness means you can even smile nicely at someone, even if you don't want to, and be nice about it or it means helping a neighbor or, or just calling calling a neighbor or um, if you haven't talked to someone in a while, just call and say hi. Um, you don't know what they're going through. They may need that. Um, elderly people need that more so. I can tell you that with my mom, just the, the contact with people is big for her. All right, I think we're going to be able to glue this together now. We're going to tuck those ends in. We're going to tuck them in and glue. I hope I don't have too much stuff. I can always pull some out, but pull a little out. I don't want it to pop open on me. But you need that filling in there. Okay. There. Now I think it'll go in there better. Like I said, we don't want it to pop out. Um, tuck in those sides there. That's gonna be, that's gonna work really, really good. We're gonna tuck it in as we go. So, let's just, Go around. It's okay if you get a little glue on the outside because we're going to add some trim. Tuck 
that in. All right, so we got a we got glue and hole. Awesome, Robin. Yes, pass it on all the time. Pass on that act of kindness, and that's what you do. Perfect, Sherilyn. Oops, I'm trying to tuck more of this in. I gotta hold this so that stays. I want it good and dry. So that's gonna be a cute pumpkin. And then we're gonna do a stem I have not done before. We're gonna use coffee grunge on it. It should be cute. You're welcome, Dawn. Make sure you private message me your address, okay? Um, I will pay for perffect. Aw, Carol, Dawn, you want us want me to pick somebody else? You know what? I will do that. Carla Couch, private message me your mailing address. That's a forwarding random act of kindness. Um, Dawn, I'd still like you to send me your address. Okay, I'm doing another act of kindness. Okay, still send me your address. That was sweet. Unless you really don't want anything, I understand that. All right. I'm just going to finish trying to tuck this in. <laughs> just tuck, tuck, tuck. Um, it actually would be good if you, so I'll be able to use a scissor to tuck some in. It's holding pretty good over there. So let's do, let's do some on the top here. And we gotta hold it again. Thank you, Teresa. If you stick on too, so one thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make another tag. I make tags a lot and stamp on them and I'm gonna make another tag. Um, you're gonna see the, um, the stamp of the month from close to my heart it's so cool and i i think you're gonna want it you're gonna want it um it can be used for now and for christmas um it, it really is cute thank you all right i'm gonna try and tuck now with this because it's getting a little tighter you don't want to pull it apart to tuck all right so we got that tucking done there and I'm going to tuck here. Let's just get some glue down in there again. It doesn't matter that you get some on the sides because we are going to add some trim on the sides, but we're going to do the rest of this. And hold a ah, hot. It's hot. See, finger protectors wouldn't have even protected me from that. <sighs> Dollar Tree, um, yeah, and I don't know, they might have these, right? Maybe not the orange color, but you can always paint them. Um, these were Dollar General, but Dollar Tree is cheaper. Yeah, so these were Dollar General. <laughs> just, just cute. All right, I do want to hold it a minute yet because I don't want it popping open on me. So you could use wood glue with hot glue in between, but make, you can't have it on top of each other because then it won't adhere. The hot glue would give the quick stick, the um, Gorilla Glue or something like that, or your E6000 gives it the longer hold. But you, you almost need, unless you're going to take your time and you could clip this together after you glue it, you could honestly clip it. Isn't that just really, really cute? It stands. We could always add a cork to the back if it doesn't stand. It actually, it does stand. All right. We got that. Let's do, um, let's do the stem next because it needs a little time to dry. Now. I mixed 
in here, this is Mod Podge with some coffee grunge. I had about this much Mod Podge left, so I, I added probably about that much of the coffee grunge. If you don't know what the coffee grunge is, um, it's a mixture of, and I got, and I see Tracy from, um, <laughs> Sweet Home. I'm mixing her up with someone else, but it's Tracy that I've seen use it a lot. Oh gosh, I love her. She's adorable. But what this coffee grunge is, is um, you mix in a jar, a cup of hot water, a half a cup of instant coffee grounds, two tablespoons of vanilla, and two tablespoons of cinnamon, and keep it in the fridge. And just shake it really good every time you use it. It's amazing. So then, like I said, I put some of it in the Mod Pod. You can see how that's sort of colored now. All right, I got my big roll of jute out again. You know I use jute. We're going to make a stem with this. And we're going to get messy. We're going to get messy. Sweet home living. Thank you, Sheila. I knew it was sweet home. But I mix her up with somebody else, too. Um, and she also has something about sweet home, and I love her, too. And I just can't. Um, can't think for the life of me between the two of them. I'm awful with page names. Terrible, terrible, terrible. And that's not good. All right. I'm just going to cut maybe seven or eight of them. Now, I know, I don't know that she came up with that. Um, recipe for it but she uses it all the time and she's the first person I saw do it so that's so I'm sticking by it I think I want one more how many did I do I think I want one more two four six eight nine you're gonna be twisting it I think I'm, I'm gonna do ten I'm gonna do ten of them of this size now if you have thinner Excuse me, you're going to be doing a lot more with it. All right, we're just going to lay these out and have them sort of even. All right. At least sort of even on the one side. Now we're going to get our gloves out. There you go. Y yes. No, Sweet Home Create. No, I don't. It's Tracy. It's Tracy is who I'm thinking of. Her name is Tracy. She does a lot of primitive and vintage. You all know who I'm talking about. Her name is Tracy. Hello, Jermaine. All right, we're going to get messy here. So I'm putting gloves on just so I don't have to go clean it up when I'm done. Yeah, and Debbie, I used to have a list of names of pages and names of people. It just got to be so many. I didn't even, it got to be so many. All right, so again, this is Mod Podge and Coffee Grunge. I probably, it was probably about this much Mod Podge, and I probably added about that much of the Coffee Grunge. And the Coffee Grunge that I had was, you know, it was the thicker, slimier stuff at the top when I poured it. It was that, and then I just shook it really, really well. Now, you really have to saturate these strings it's it takes a lot it's you really saturate them that's it you're going to have to hold it down you're going to get messy if you don't like that put gloves on i'm glad you found me lila i'm glad you found me tracy campbell my sweet home living that's her. She's the one who had the recipe of the coffee grunge that she uses all the time that I use now. Quite often I've used it lately. Um, so yes, that's who I was thinking of. Thank you. Thank you. She's adorable. All right. You really have to saturate these well, especially when you've got this thicker jute. It, it, it soaks it up. It really does. 
just really get a lot on there. I'm going to be using this on the tag also. I'll write down the coffee mixture and make some coffee started mod. Make some of the coffee stained mod podge. Yes, you're welcome. It works really, really good. You could also add a little paint in your grunge. Um, I've actually seen her do that. Like if you want to add a little bit of coloring, like some red color, the co it's already a brown, dark brown, but you can add some paint to add color. All right, again, you just really need a lot because it's soaking it right up. Let's see how we're making it real slimy and We'll have to reline this up when we're done. Awesome, Debbie. It's it works so good, ladies, and it smells amazing. Even in here now, it smells simply amazing. So we're going to use this on the gift tag also. All right, I think that's pretty good. I just want to make sure it's really it's really really saturated, but it's still not dripping. It's it's not dripping. You just it, it soaks it up. You've got to have it. You've got to have it wet. Somebody sent stars. Thank you so much. All right. I think that looks good. We're going to leave this on here because we will need that in a minute all right so i'm just going to line these back up now we're making the stem just going to twist them and that's it it's almost like wringing it out but you, but you don't you're not gonna you, you're not gonna well it might drip if you have too much in it might drip Now one end we're going to end up fanning out for on top of the pumpkin. But okay, now I'm going, I'm going to take one glove off. We'll end up getting a little messy with that glove. But we really have this in good. Actually, let's just, I might leave both gloves on for now yet. Start drying it a little bit and it's going to get tacky first so then we're going to be able to squeeze it together again Sheila thank you for the stars I appreciate them the stars always help me offset the cost of the happy mail postage um, but again I, I'm going to do happy mail no matter what but I appreciate it I, I appreciate that a lot All right, so just dry it up a little it's going to get sticky first and then it'll dry Oh, Elmer's Glow too. See, and I just like the idea of adding in the coffee grunge with this. Okay, now it's getting it's getting stickier. And because that adds the color. Jill, thank you for the stars. I appreciate them. Okay, keep on commenting. We're gonna do another random act of kindness. We already got two that are gone out, and thanks to Dawn, we've got the second one. We're still going to get her one. And she sends me her address. Hello, Anne from Ireland. I'm glad you caught me live. I know, your time zone is so different than mine, right? And you get Pinterest TV. At the beginning, I was saying, and other people may be on here now, I am actually, Pinterest TV is newer, um, and especially like for creators. There's hardly, there's not many on there. Um, I applied to be on uh, Pinterest TV, so it's a half hour segment. Um, and they, 
accepted my application. So Friday, this coming Friday, it's 2 o'clock Pacific time. So I don't know what it is, your time, 2 o'clock Pacific time. But if you don't catch me live, but I can chat, but it's only a half an hour and I have a big project that they told me I should do. Um, but I can chat during a little bit and but and then you can watch it after but if you find pinterest tv and you'll be able to see everybody but there's a lot of makeup a lot of exercise a lot of cooking right now not as many crafters so i was so excited and over the top excited and scared yep you just tracy or trisha you have to just make sure you have plenty plenty on and look at it's already for me and it's getting sticky and we're, we're just twisting it really well I'm gonna spread this already because that's gonna be the bottom what is that on Are you asking the Pinterest TV? It's right on the, it's, it's on your phone, on your computer. It's the, it's a branch off of Pinterest. It's Pinterest TV. And even if you go on Pinterest on your phone, if you have an updated version of Pinterest, go on Pinterest on your phone in the upper left hand corner, there's a little TV. If you click on that, that's, that's where you see it on a computer. I think you type in Pinterest TV and I think it's like Pinterest slash TV. I think it comes up as. And you see the schedule, you see I had to do a little promo video um, in, introducing me and, and my segment. Um, I have another one next week too. It's a little, diff it's a little different. I've never heard of um, doing this type of crafting, but that one's an hour and I don't talk at all. I don't talk, you don't talk. Um, it's, it's actually like a pre-recorded. So that one's going to be different and I have to figure out what I'm going to do for an hour and not talk. How do I not talk? <laughs> yeah, thanks, Portia. All right, I think I think this is good. Like I said, the inside is a little bit sticky yet, so that's that's okay. That's gonna really just really almost like looks like a shaped something else <laughs> turd. Can I say that on here? It's brand new, Debbie. That's a, I'm just excited that I got approved for it. You have to apply to a, apply to them, and they and she went out and checked out my Facebook page to see things that I do, and so she told me what it. I can tell you, it's going to be stenciling, um, and because my promo it even says it's a porch leaner. I'm going to be stenciling porch leaner, but she actually wanted a fall porch leaner, um, showing the process and with the stencils and that. So that's what i'm doing so i know how to do it is but i'm nervous doing it on there because pinterest is pinterest is pinterest we're not not there with the pumpkin stem <laughs> my other i had a pumpkin stem that really went bad all right look at how cute that is isn't that cute this would be a cute topper too but this will be, looks like a cigar. This is gonna end up going on here and we're gonna decorate around. All right, isn't that cute? I do, I'm do. i gonna spread this apart a little bit up here. But, so yeah, the Mod Podge stays. Now, if some of it doesn't want to stay, you can just add a little bit of glue on there, but it would be just these ends down here. Um, that's gonna be covered up anyhow. And that just turned out cute. So now we've got this from the Dollar General. These two baskets we put together. We stuffed them. We put fabric in it and we stuffed it and glued it together. This is going to go on here. Um, I don't, I think I need one glove yet for this. Maybe not. Nah. All right. Now, as long as I got this grunge mixture in front of me, Mod Podge and Grunge, we're just going to cut a tag out of canvas. You buy this at Walmart. It's just, it's probably like five something a yard. I'm just gonna cut a big, 
rectangle first and then I'll show you how the easiest way to trim it up. I want to make sure yeah because I, I said we're going to stamp on here and I'm going to show you the October stamp of the month. It's simply awesome and you can use it now you can use it for christmas um you're gonna want it and i'll tell you about that in a minute all right so we're just gonna fold this over i've got an edge on here i want to trim and i'm going to cut it you know like a like a tag shape now i think this is going to be too wide yeah that's too wide Cut it again. Just play with it for the shape that you want. Bottom cut. Did I make my hat? No, I didn't, but isn't it dang cute? It's really, really cute. All right, I think that's a good, that's a good shape of a tag. I, I think I want it a little skinnier though, because the pumpkin isn't too wide. We're gonna do this a little, let me just make sure though. I have to look at my stamps, make sure I'm not gonna run into a problem. We're gonna just trim just a tad bit more, just a tad bit. I think that would be good. I'll show you the stamps. I'm just lining it up on the stamp, making sure it fits on there. We're gonna stamp first and then we're gonna grunge it. Let me put in the hole though. One of these crocodiles, these were awesome. Whatever way you have to put in a hole in your tag. All right, let's do the stamp. This is the October stamp of the month, close to my heart. Do you guys see a link at the bottom? I did try putting a link. Somebody had a question here. Let me just see. Michelle, so on um, Pinecrest, what do we type in to find you? Oh, on Pinterest. Um, crafty Servings. So actually, if you go to Pinterest TV, I don't know if it says it there right now. So on Crafty Sir, I'm Crafty Servings on Pinterest. Um, if you click on that link in the top left corner, the TV on your Pinterest screen, so you go on Pinterest, you click on the TV. My, I don't know if it actually says it there now because I just sent some stuff in for more approval yesterday, but it'll be, if you look at the, you can see the list of dates and who's all going to be on the different dates for different things. Mine is October 7th and it's, it's two, it's two o'clock Pacific time, so that's four o'clock my time. But otherwise, Crafty Servings, and I'm on Pinterest as Crafty Servings. So I have a lot of idea pins I put out there all the time, and I love if you save them um, and comment on them or love on them because that's no different than on here. That's how you get it. Okay, let's let's move on. We've got, I just cut out this tag. It's going to be cute hanging on there. This is the stamp of the month for October from Close to My Heart. Um, it's called Blessings of the First Noel, but... You can use this for also Thanksgiving because one of these stamps says, very thankful, incredibly grateful, unbelievably blessed, mainly for you. All right, so that's what we're going to do. Otherwise, it's it's the most wonderful, exhausting, and wonderful is crossed off, exhaust, exhausting time of, of the year, wishing you long winter naps, winter's nap this Christmas, wishing you a happy, healthy, peaceful, and hug-filled new year. And may the blessings of the first Noel fill your heart with peace and joy. So you can make your own little tags with these. Um, the way you get these is uh, if you, you can, um, you can just buy them, but then they're full price. But if you go out on my page um, and your things are painting dots by the stars. Okay, perfect. Thank you. So if you um, go out to, um, if you go to my page on that close to my, um, our crafty servings at um, dot close to my heart dot com, 
and you place a $50 order, not counting shipping and tax, you can get this on checkout for $5. If you join the monthly craft club, which is 30, 35, or not the monthly, um, it's the craft club. It's $35 annual fee. You get a $10 credit back right away um, that you can use towards future orders. And then any, um, if you order $50 and you're a member of that, you get this for free. So you get benefits. You um, There's exclusive stamps that you get, um, that you can get. There's everything that you buy, you get 10% back in credit. It's it's awesome. So if you get a $100 order, you get $10 back. Um, all right, so I only have a big block that fits this. We're gonna just lay that on there. Um, to condition it, you can either put some ink on it and stamp it on paper. I don't have that here. So we're just gonna rub my hand on here. And that just gets off a little bit of, you know, if there's a coating on there, very first time you use it. I like to put down, now I'm going to use, actually, I'm going to put my computer, I like something solid to stamp on. This table is not that solid and it's not in, um, it slants and slopes in. All right, so I'm using paprika. And I just got my tag here. Just press down all over because you want to make sure. And you can see right through here if it's not going to be on there, and some of it I don't have yet. So we're going to make sure we push everywhere. There. Now you can see. And you can see right through it's going to be. And let's just, we're going to line this up on here. Um, I do have a little extra up here. Make sure you wipe off any excess. I'm going to hold it on there so it absorbs in. You can do that on paper too and just really press around because it's a little bit bigger. I'm really pushing on this computer. Okay, that should be good. Look at how cute that is. And then we'll just wipe that off. And when you take them off of that off of that backing and you take them off of here, you want to just take your time and, and peel it up so that you're not stretching it because it you know it would tear. You don't want to do too much to it. And if it tears, you know that's on you. Um, actually have it on the wrong side. All right, put that back down. Okay, now we're gonna grunge up that. Put that back up here. Yeah, isn't it cute? And you can, I do have another one cut out here that I thought if we put this together, that actually would be a little bit cute. But I don't know that you'll see that background on there. If you had a different fabric or something and put it on there, you can mod podge that together. So because it really doesn't stand out, I'm not going to use that. But we are going to put this down now and do a little bit of grunge. So this is the mod podge again with some of the coffee grunge in. I'm just going to put some of that on there and this is going to make it so that uh, it looks a little bit older but it's also going to make it so that it's a little bit flexible when it dries. I think that's all we need. Well, on top of brown fabric would be beautiful if I had it. I don't have any brown fabric here. It'll be fine with this. It'll be fine doing this, but um, actually I think I'm going to just brush a little on this back side too. Just to add that more flexible. All right, let's lift that up. Isn't that cute? So I'm going to dry that a little bit. But yeah, you could put a uh, contrast fabric behind it. just adds a little something to it. Um, oh, you know, I have those burlap 
the burlap pages. I've done some tags with them. That would have been really cute on the back of this too. That would have been very cute on it. All right. Yes, green fabric would look cute too. Yeah, any any of that would have, but I didn't plan ahead. <laughs> I didn't plan ahead. All right. Hot. Okay, I think that's that's good for now. It's it's still a little bit damp. I'm I'm gonna dry it pretty much. You're drying the plants very quiet. It is, but it's very 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 extremely hot. So when I'm done with this, you learn you don't touch this. It's that metal gets so extremely hot. This is in the, a contractor section of. Um, I think I got it at Home Depot in the contractor's section. And this is on low, <laughs> and it's it's so hot. So when you're drying paint, you have to make sure you're really moving it and all over because it'll bubble. It'll bubble your paint. Oh, awesome, Sheila. My Dollar General does not have many. It's a little one, and they just opened actually several months ago um, near me. Um, they don't have much of their Christmas out yet. I think it's just leftovers. All right, so we've got that, and that's going to be really, really cute hanging on there. I like that I colored it with that Coffee Grunge and Mod Podge, and it's going to stay a little bit flexible, so that's going to be nice. We got that. Get some of this out of our way. All right, now we're going to get back to this, and we're going to glue, um, remember our big jute that we had? We're going to glue that on here. I'm going to start right at the top. You know, because of this, though, you may have to put like a cork on the back to make it stand up because of putting this on. Um, it may not necessarily stand up, but I want to cover that. You could use a flat ribbon. I'm not going to use this one, but you could use a skinny flat ribbon and flap wrap around. That would be really cute. Um, that ribbon's a little bit too big, but I like the idea of just doing the jute on here. And because it's a fat jute, I can get away with one. With just one layer around it. Um, we'll see. If I have to do a uh, two, three, if I have to do, I could do three layers of it too. I'm just doing right in the crack where I glued. I'm trying to be careful to not get it all over. I'm not doing the best. So I may end up having to put extra layers, but it's going to be cute. It's going to be cute. Almost done. Like I said, because of this, it may not stand flat. That you have, you might have to just add. You could probably add a couple of Jenga blocks at the bottom too. That might help. Like on this side, oh, that would be a good idea. Okay, I don't have mine up here, but some of the some of the Jenga blocks you get at Dollar Tree, you could glue one here and one here, and that would hold it upright. Okay, so that's that's a, a tip that I think would work. Um, and it wouldn't be too too bad that you wouldn't see it. You could always grunge it up or um, I don't know that you want to paint it orange unless you have this exact orange. You really don't want to paint it orange. You could paint it a dark brown. That would look okay on it. Or like I said, just, just coffee grunge it. I 
Okay, Teresa has a question out there if anybody ha can answer her on that, if you've been able to find white clear glitter. Otherwise, Teresa, have you gone on um, Amazon? I know I got diamond dust from Amazon. It's Hobby Lobby doesn't, I mean, they have a lot of glitter, but certain when I'm looking for a certain kind, I, I don't usually find what kind I'm looking for. I want more of a clear. Um, Debbie, you don't have a Dollar General in your area. I can tell you, like from me, it's gotten so big here. Just from me, I've got one probably about 10 miles that way. I've got one about seven miles that way. I've got one probably about 12 miles. And then I got another one um, a little bit further than that. They just pop up all over the place. The one that just built, um, like maybe not even 10 minutes from me, well, probably about 10, ouch, 10 minutes from me, um, they're one that's connected with Dollar Tree. So they have both in their store. I haven't figured out if there's how it's done, it's sections or something. All right, so we got that. Like I said, I think we're gonna have to end up putting like Jenga blocks at the bottom here to hold it up. Or you can put a cork on the back and lean it backwards. You can do that too. All right, got that on. Let's see how we're gonna add this stem. And then when we decorate around it, that's gonna help hold it up too. So I'm going to just hold this on here for now without touching my fingers in there. It's so hot today. And what kind of craft stores do you have by you? Do you have some? Yeah, we have Joann's, Michael's, Hobby Lobby. Dollar General isn't a craft store or Dollar Tree. They're, they're like these little... Um, we used to call them dime stores, you know, where it just has a little something of everything. But the Dollar Tree got bigger sections of crafts now. Not huge, but big enough. Um, same with Dollar General. We have a family dollar, too. I don't go in very often. Okay. It's not, that's really a cute stem. I love the bottom of it, actually. And do you have stores that have crafts in them? Aw, Dawn, thank you. No limb stem this. <laughs> no, I did say that it probably looked like a, a turd, though. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, last year I did a pumpkin that ended up having a limb stem, and mines were going in the gutter, let me tell you that. Let me tell you that. Okay, that's really, really cute. You don't need to do much to that. All right, we're gonna lean that up on there. Let's put this on right away so it's hanging down. And the other thing I think, oh, I wish I had a dark, if I had my dark brown stamp hat, I'm just gonna go get it. I think I want to put a little bit of dark brown around that trim. I know you hear everything I do because I have my microphone on. All right, I just think, it's like, where's my tag? I'm just gonna lay this down on here so I can get it. I'm gonna do the browner on the outside, just to add a little color to make it stand out a little bit more. I use this brown so much I need a re-inker, I think, to re-ink it. I 
I'm hearing bells and I don't think it's my wind chimes. <laughs> there. Okay, that just added a little more to it. So that's gonna hang off of here. Okay, so I'm gonna take a little bit of my skinny jute and hang that. Thanks, Kathy. I think it looks cute. Now this brown is not probably going to stay. It might stay that brown now because I have the Mod Podge on, but sometimes when you use it on fabric, it'll absorb in a little bit. Well, actually more on wood. It'll stay really close to this color. More on wood absorbs a little bit um, and then it actually changes a little bit of the color, but um, it works good. All right, we're just putting some like that. It's gonna be cute, and we're gonna hang that down right away. Um, that way, it I don't have to try and piece it in between things. Okay, mm -hmm. do that a little more. I'm just tying knots because it'll give a little something for it to adhere to. There we go. There, that's going to be cute like that. And we're just going to add a little decorating. So for not wanting to do another pumpkin, really, um, I can't say I didn't want to, but I've done so many. I know people are getting tired of pumpkins. Um, this turned out sort of okay, right? Thank you, Darla. I'll be doing it. Oh, my stem is starting to go down. Just like, we need to add some more glue in here. I'm going to add some more glue in this stem to keep it up down on the bottom. It's still a little bit of tacky from the coffee grunge and the Mod Podge, but we almost got a limp stem. Y'all know what I'm talking about, you that saw me last year. All right. I'm going to put a little bit in here too, just because it's tacky. This hot glue is so hot today. So hot today. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> it almost got there, but I I saved it. I saved it. It is really a cute stem. You have to admit, that's a cute stem. <laughs> All right. Let's add some decoration to it. We're going to put a little bow. We got some greens. Let's just do a little bit of green first. These are Hobby Lobby again, 50% off every other week. Um, just a, a few of these, I think. I, I don't have a plan on this part. So we got that. I have some of these color leaves. May, we might use some of these. Let me just pick your stuff apart. Really cute. We got them. I do have these, but I'm not sure that I'm going to use them. Those are from the Dollar Tree. I've got this. We've got some ribbon we're going to be using. Um, I have some raffia here we're going to use. I have a button we're going to use. Thank you, Carol. All right, so I'm just going to turn this a little bit towards me, and we're going to add some of, I don't like that green piece. Here, we're going to add some of this green. 
Isn't that cute? That's really cute. That's why I ask my husband, I always say, isn't that cute? He always goes, yeah, it's cute. <laughs> and I'd say, it is, it is cute. It is cute. It is cute. You really don't need a lot up here. You really don't. I had debated on putting sort of bow. I think we have to put a little something there. I might just do raffia because maybe a little bit of, maybe a little burlap and raffia. And I might leave off that ribbon because this is just simple and cute. We may not need some of that other. I'm really watching what I'm doing here so I don't burn myself because it's such a skinny stem. You don't need a lot on this, do you? You don't need a lot on this. <laughs> right, Robin? <laughs> yeah. And this green is such a good color green for it. I was debating on another one and it looks a little fakey. You could paint a little bit on it, but I think it looks great with this. Honestly, I think it looks great. I'm going to do a couple more and just have them just off the sides a little bit. <laughs> Thank you, Robin. Robin, share your page on here. Your Robin has happy trails chalking, I believe. That's what I remember. I'm not sure why. Um, anybody else have a page on here that wants to share? I saw Carol Tease. I think she had her page in her name. Um, go ahead and, and share that. All right, I'm just going to hang these off. There's a lighter green. I don't think I need any more. I don't think I'm gonna do any more. I, I, it just seems so simple to me. Oh, I am sorry to hear that, Anne. So watching crafters, does that help pass your time in that? I'm really sorry to hear that. That's a long time. That's a long time ago. Um, I'm just cutting this piece of burlap ribbon. Oh, I'm glad it makes you happy, Dawn. All right, and I am going to cut off this ribbon trim. I think it, it's going to be simple and cute with this and we're going to add a little bit of raffia. We'll see about adding these. I'm not sure that we're even going to add these. We're not going to add any of that. Um, might stick one of these in here. I don't know that I will though. Let's get a raffia out here. I'm glad you comment on mine, Anne. I appreciate that. All right. If you, I can show you my Dollar General again. Um, I showed it at the beginning. If if y'all didn't stick on, I'm looking for my raffia. Um, if you didn't weren't on at the beginning, I showed it what I got from Dollar Tree today or Dollar General, which was also these basket things. But I also got one other a Christmas thing. If you weren't on, I can show you that again if I remember. I can show you that again. It is the funniest, quirkiest thing, and I love it. So I can show it again at the end if you want. It, it was fun, but it was from Dollar General too also. Oh, yeah, this. All right. <laughs> this is like the raffia that doesn't quit giving. Sometimes you don't have that. All right, and I'm going to cut a piece of this skinny jute.
And I'm just folding it like a messy kind of bow that I'm doing. A lot of times I put the raffia behind what I'm doing. So we'll see on here what I'm gonna do. Yeah, I might, let's see. Now we're going to do the raffia on the front. A lot of times I do the raffia honestly behind things and you just have some of that sticking out. But because I'm not putting ribbon or other color on there, I think this is going to be my coloring that I have. Um, I need to make it a little cleaner though. My grunge is falling. Let's make this a little bit cleaner because I want to make sure I have tendrils that come down too. Thank you, Heather. Let's do another random act of kindness drawing. Here we go. Debbie Hein Heinlein, Heinlein, I think. Private message me your mailing address and I'll get you happy mail. You make sure you do a random act of kindness for someone. That's the third one today. One more yet at the end. Make sure you're commenting. Um, Dawn earlier gave up hers as a random act of kindness, so she's still getting one. But so then we're giving out two. I'm just adding another. Now I don't like these big thick ones. I end up spreading that out. All right, so. I want some tendrils hanging down. I'm just folding it. Okay, almost. And I want tendrils on both sides. There we go. And I'm going to put this on here. I know you're not, you're not seeing me now. Is that okay? Put that on. Just scrunch that up. Use a piece of jute to tie it. I usually like wrapping it a couple times so that I don't have to worry about um, it falling apart while holding it. Oh, that sounds awesome, Debbie. You're welcome. Thank you, Marilyn. All right, and then I just like to spread that. Some of these fat raffia, just spread that out. It, if you just put your fingernails into it and it'll just spread it out and make it a little fuller. I like it a little bit messy. I always like messy raffia. tie that for now. We can always glue it if we want. But I have string in there to tie it with. Tame some of this. Okay, let's see what I'm doing. This is just cute. I'm, my hubby's not even here to ask. And he'll say no. All right, I need. It ain't going anywhere when I use this. It ain't going anywhere. I just need to see it a little bit. All right, now we need a button. I got bags of buttons from some followers. So sweet. We'll see if one of them works. Otherwise, I've got so that one would be a little bit cute. That's actually, you know, awesome colors with it. I've got that one. I don't like that one as much. This one I feel is a little bit small, but this is the one, one of the ones that said hand me love with love. Oh, if I had a little one of them, I could put it down here. 
I might have to go and get that. That would be really cute down there, but this one's a little big. I've got a smaller one that I can put on for that. Um, but let's look. That would be cute. I don't know that we want bright. There's a cowboy hat in here. That's cute. I think, I think this one, what do you think? Do you have a link? Do you have anything? Link for your stamp set. Um, it is the October stamp of the month. Is there a link up by the numbers that says crafty servings dot close to my heart dot com? Because that's what it is. Crafty servings dot close to my heart dot com. If you're not a member of the craft club where you can join for thirty five dollars annual, you get a fifteen dollar credit back right away um, or a ten dollar credit back right away. But um, everything you spend in there, you get a 10% back right um, as credit. But if you join that, then after 50, if you spend $50 in a month, you'd get this stamp set free. If not, um, if you're not a member, which is fine, you can get it for $5 if you spend $50 or more. Okay, not counting the shipping and tax. All right. Um, I really think we got this one. For here and I'm gonna go grab one of the other little ones what do you well no which, which one let me just look I honestly like this one what do you think you like the wood one or the metal one oh gosh amber you will love what close my heart has and there are so many incredible stamps so many so many and they always have clearance, you know, you look in the clearance too. White what button would be cute with the white polka dots. Let's check that out. This is always my hardest part. I have sort of these off-white wood in here that would be a little bit cute. This one has little... <gasps> okay. All right, we got some more samples. This is the worst part for me. It's the worst part. All right. So I've got that big one there. I don't know that I like that. I don't think I like that. I have this one, but that's just, to me seems a little little. And then I have this one. I think I like the wood one. I really do. I like that. I'm going to go get one of the little other little ones and then we'll do a random act of kindness drawing. And then if you weren't down at the beginning and you want to see, um, my Dollar General stash I got today. It wasn't much, but these two tobacco baskets were from there. And then I got the funnest, cutest Christmas decoration. I, I'm in love with it and it makes me laugh and it makes me smile. All right, we're going to just put this on here. I'm going to go grab one of those other ones. Take that over to the side. Some, this is just cute. Put polka dot, oh, putting polka dots on this one would be really cute. Hello, Kathy. Crafty Servings Crafting Club. Every time I see Kathy on here, it's, she's just, we need more people. Crafty Servings Crafting Club. I've been saying the same thing too. Go, go join it. It's a free group and post pictures of things you do. You know, we, we love seeing that. I started putting out videos of some other crafters on there too we won't put all of them on but i'm putting some out there um because i think some crafters might need that extra boost some maybe don't you know but some might and you know we try and do that okay we got that i'm gonna go grab that button and then i'm gonna show do the random math the kindness drawing and then we're gonna do dollar general Could you see it in the background? I don't know. Maybe you could see in the background. Maybe you can't. Oh, the pumpkin's covering my fun, fun Christmas decoration that I'm in love with. And like I said, it's quirky. What about the small white button on the, on the wood button? Um, okay, we might try that. All right, so I'm going to put this little handmade with love. I've been putting on these almost everything. They're just cute little 
Handmade with love. Um, I'm going to put it on the opposite side of the tag. Cute. Um, I think I'm, I think I'm okay with, um, that button the way it is. A lot of times I layer my buttons, um, I don't want to take away from the pumpkin itself. And to me, I almost feel like if I add more, it's going to take away from the simple. Yeah. I just feel that that's all you're going to see. I'm okay with this. I'm okay with this. All right. So like I said, my thought is to make this stand up. Yeah, Kathy wants to see more. So go join Crafty Servants Crafting Club. So, and I try and hop on as much as I can to see what you guys do and try and get some comments out there too because I love seeing what you do too. Um, so my thought is to make this stand up is you could either do a cork on the back and let it lean backwards. That would work perfectly fine. Um, otherwise, take two Jenga blocks, paint them maybe dark brown, put one here and one here. And I think you, I think it would stand up. It honestly stood up before, um, before I put on this jute trim, but we need that jute trim. You could do a ribbon trim if you want. Um, I just think it's really cute. Aw, oh, 